Wednesday. Hello. Hello. Duty work Wednesday. The C Morning Zoo. Hi, I have a little problem. Must be at your mind. Call 473 104.5. I almost didn't do it. I thought, is this in bad taste? But you know what? I went for it. I went for it, and I am so glad I did. What's the worst that could happen? All right, Dirty Work Wednesday is on the air at 473 1045. And each week I always ask, who's calling? I already know who's calling this week. We were talking about this earlier. It's Brian. Hello, Brian. Hey, hello. So the reason for your call is we're attempting to stop a wedding? Yes, and uh, I know this is not a typical request that you guys get, so I really, want, I, I, I really, really, really appreciate it. Yeah, okay, so I guess we need some backstory here. Let's start with the girl. All right, uh, so Michelle and I met uh, back in grade school. Uh, she actually used to stick up for me when I was getting bullied, and we became pretty much best friends. We grew up together. We ended up going to the same high school. We were each other's prom dates twice. And after high school, we dated for a while. And but that's when things kind of fell apart. Okay, what happened? Well, I mean, uh, long story short, I really wanted to take the next step physically in our relationship. And she wasn't ready. So I kind of made her feel bad about the whole thing. And we eventually did do it. And she ended up getting pregnant, but the baby didn't make it. So... Uh, the whole thing pretty much just ended our relationship and our friendship. Yeah, that that's an emotional roller coaster to be on for a relationship. Yeah, so after that, we went through a couple of years where we didn't talk, and I started seeing this girl, and then she's got a boyfriend, and finally we saw each other at a mutual friend's wedding, and we actually got into a huge argument at the reception. I mean, it got, it was ugly. Yeah, I can imagine. Okay, so fast forward to today. Okay, so last Thanksgiving... I don't, I don't know if you remember, but like a lot of flights got delayed and um, you know, I ended up stuck at the airport in Baltimore and out of nowhere, I see Michelle sitting by herself, right? So I go over to her and we basically spent like two hours just talking and catching up and since then we've been friends again and we'll text each other all the time and we'll call each other just, just to say what's up and, but over the past year, it's become more and more obvious to me that I'm still in love with her and I... No, I can't believe I let her go. I mean, I can honestly say right now that losing her was the biggest regret of my life. Um, if you told me tomorrow, if you said, hey, if if you had to give up my house, my job, my money, anything just to get another chance with her, I would do it in a heartbeat. So now she's getting married? Yeah, she's supposed to marry this guy named Joel that she's been dating. And I've met him. Uh, he's a nice guy, but he's just not right for her. Okay, well, who are you to say that, though? I mean, how, how do you know he's not right for her? Does she seem happy? Not always, no. I mean, in fact, one time I asked her if she felt like she was settling, and she was just kind of like, yeah, I guess, but doesn't everybody? Okay, so your plan is what? All right, my plan is that I'd like you to call her up, and I want to read her something that I wrote down here, and I'm, what I'm hoping is that she'll at least hear what I have to say. And if she hears it and she doesn't care, then at least I know I tried. You know what the thing that keeps coming back to me? The airport. Like, what were the odds that you would both be delayed and accidentally run into each other in the same airport? And that yeah. airport is, by the way, not small. Right? And it was on Thanksgiving weekend. That's like the busiest, that's the busiest travel weekend. So you're convinced that whatever it is you wrote down will maybe get her to, what, cancel this wedding? You know, I don't know. I just need her to hear it. It's really the only chance I got. I mean, you, you guys are my last chance, really. Okay, well, I mean, I mean, we can call her up and you can say your piece, but no promises that she won't just laugh and be like, nice try. I honestly don't care as long as she hears it. Okay, I hope it's good because uh, we're going to be calling her when we come back next. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Is this Michelle? Yeah, this is. Hey, Michelle. This is the Z Morning Zoo radio show on Z104. Nick, Ashley, and Shaggy. How are you this morning? Hi. Uh, I'm good. How are you guys? We're great. <laughs> Thanks for asking. So, I, I can tell you're laughing a little bit there. Have you been listening to our show this morning? <laughs> No, no, I'm I'm actually in New York right now, so oh, um, oh, okay. No, I haven't been listening. Well, that could work to our favor, actually. So, listen, um, we got a call from Brian. 
Okay, you you did. Yes. Um, so, what did Brian have to say? Well, we'll get to that uh, in a minute. But first, tell tell us about Brian. Tell you like what do you? I don't know. What do you want to know? Like <laughs> like how do you know him? Um, God, this is so weird. Um, you know, we're friends. We have known each other since like grade school we dated for a little bit um after high school then we broke up and i don't know now we're just friends and stuff okay have you ever considered him to be more than just a friend i mean yeah we dated a couple years ago so right. sure yeah, of, course. of course and you're about to get married right yeah i am to joel Yes, that's correct. Okay. And do you love him? Yeah, of course I do. I'm, I'm marrying him. Okay. Well, congratulations. Um, now, before you get married, there's something that I think Brian wants you to hear. So I'm going to put Brian on here. And then, Brian, whenever you're ready, you, you just go right ahead. Okay. <clears throat> um, Michelle, on the very first day we met, you showed me that it was okay to let someone help once in a while and take care of me. Over the years, I feel like we've been taking care of each other through good times and really, really bad ones. I know that someday my life is going to end, and when that happens, I'm sure I will look back on my life and have many regrets. Things I should have done that I never did. Chances I should have taken that I never took. But I'm gonna be able to come to terms and find peace with all of it all of it except for one thing I wish I could say to you that I'm happy you're marrying Joel I wish I could tell you that I want the best for both of you but that would be a lie because the truth is after everything we went through the good and the bad I never stopped loving you I still can't believe that you ever gave me a chance to love you and I can't believe I threw it away because I was stupid and immature and unworthy of you. I don't deserve another chance. I don't deserve you. But I'm standing here right now with my eyes watering because I want you to know that I'm not over you. And if there is even a chance you feel the same way, then I want you to know that I'm ready to do whatever in the world it takes to make us happen again. I know this is terrible timing, and I'm sorry about that. But when I look at you, I see the rest of my life standing in front of me. I know you're wondering why I'm telling you all of this. And so I'm going to make one request of you. I would like one final opportunity to tell you all of this in person and not some kind of grand gesture or crazy stunt. All I want is one date like we used to do. No fiancés, no girlfriends, just me and you. One night, one date. And if at the end of the night, you can still say that you want to marry Joel, I will drive you to the church myself, and I'll never bother you again. It's up to you, Mac. Please say yes. Wow. Okay, so I guess you did prepare something then. Okay, Michelle, are you still there? Yeah, yeah I'm here. Okay, so what are you thinking right now? I mean, I just, I, I don't get why you would do this now to me. Like, I, I just don't get why you would wait all this time. Like, do you know how screwed up this is to do this to somebody? I know, and I'm so sorry. I, I just couldn't let you slip away from me without at least saying it. So, if we can get back to the whole request thing. Brian, you said you wanted one last date night with Michelle. Michelle, is that something that you can see happening, or? I, I mean, I don't, I don't know what you mean by a date. I'm, I'm kind of engaged now. Yeah, well, she, she certainly makes a good point there. Do you, Michelle, you remember when we, when we went the first time? I took you out on a date, date. Yeah, I mean, we went roller skating and stuff. Yeah, that, that's right. Can we try that? I mean, I just, what do you think is, is going to change? You know, I don't, I, I'm just so confused. I don't know, but just try me. 
I don't know. I can't give you an answer. I I really, I don't know about any of this right Michelle, now. Michelle, if we gave you like 24 hours to go home, think about everything you heard today. This is very on the spot. Do you think that you could have an answer by tomorrow morning? Like what if, <laughs> if we were to call you by tomorrow, do you think by then? Yeah, I, I mean, I just, I need time to kind of think about this and like let it absorb. You know, I really wasn't expecting this phone call today at all. I, I don't think any of us were. Michelle, hang on one second, and uh, I'm going to put you on hold, and me and you are going to have a little girl talk, okay? Okay. Okay, so, Brian, what we're going to do is we're going to sort of leave this for now as kind of a little cliffhanger until tomorrow, and then we're going to find out what she says either from you or from her tomorrow morning. Is that okay? Yeah, that's that's fine with me. I, like I said, I, I'm really sorry for bothering you guys. This, I, I just... I really don't. I really didn't know what else to do. Yeah, yeah, no problem, man. Well, let's keep our fingers crossed and uh, good luck. So that's and it, and we kind of left things off there because we had talked to Michelle and said, you know, and actually you talked to her longer than either of us did. Yeah. And she said, I need time to process all this. Yeah, it was I a lot can't. to take in at first. Yeah. So, and that's who we have this yes. morning. Yep. We have Michelle joining us from yesterday's Dirty Work Wednesday. Thank you for letting us bother you yet again and joining us on the show today. Yeah, no problem. So, okay, so you don't sound very happy right now. No. I'm feeling like you're not sounding very... We, we all want to know, first of all, um, did you make a decision about the date with Brian? I Yeah, I mean, I think I did. Um, I mean, this honestly has been like a whirlwind for me um this past 24 hours and i kind of feel like i've been having to deal with it alone almost you know i I can't i can't talk to my fiance about this or anything so yeah um but i i think i i think i need a decision okay what what did you decide you know i honestly have never had a guy do this before like this was such a kind gesture and a moving gesture and you know i i did feel it i i feel it still inside of me i'm getting choked up now just thinking about it but i think at the same time i I feel like he wants to live in the past and that's just not how the world works you know that that was eight years ago and we were kids and I'm I'm grown now and I'm mature and I'm in a, another place than I was then and I'm sure he is too. And I'm getting married. You know, I, I feel like I've moved on and I found somebody who has wanted to be with me and wants to be with me and will continue to want to be with me. Yeah. And I mean... So this so this sounds like this sounds like a no. So it's a no. I think it is a no. It's yeah, a no. and and, and no. that's the thing. Like I I do want to keep being friends with him and and have him in my life, but you know I just I can't live in the past. That's not how real life works. That's not how real life works. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, you know I know this was very emotional for you, and uh, we kind of. Uh, we kind of brought you into the show and made this whole story, uh, and you didn't ask for any of this. So, I mean, we kind of invaded your privacy and everything, and you've been a very good, uh, a real good sport about all this. And uh, and so, so we, and look forward from here on out, you are still getting married to a great guy that you love, and uh, so you got that to look forward to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, thanks for letting us kind of butt into your personal life. I know this is crazy, and now you'll always have a story to tell everybody years from now, but... um. But, uh, but yeah, but we, not anytime soon, but maybe later. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, uh, enjoy, uh, enjoy your wedding, and um, we're really happy for you, and we're really excited for you, and don't feel bad about the decision you made. I think, I think a lot of our audience would think that would her listening would say she made the right decision. I think a lot of people listening would agree with that mm-hmm. decision. Well, thank you. That definitely makes me feel better. All right.